Hi, Kipsters, and welcome back to Miss Jones's Math Corner. All right, question one. An auditorium has 30 rows of seats with five seats in each row. Does the auditorium have enough seats to fit 100 people? Explain your thinking on the lines below. Take this time to pause the video and make sure you answer in the comments below. All right, so the first thing we need to know to figure out this problem is what kind of equation to use. So I know that we have 30 rows, and in each row there are five seats. So I could count up each one of those rows, but that would take a long time. So I'm gonna speed up this process just a little bit, and I'm gonna use multiplication. And I'm gonna multiply 30, the number of rows, times five, the number of seats in each row. So the first thing I'm just gonna do is rewrite my problem, 30 times five. And I'm gonna do this pretty quickly. So I know I'm just gonna cover up that zero because I don't really know what 30 times five is off the top of my head, but I do know what three times five is. Three times five is 15. And I have one zero in my equation, so I'm gonna bring that zero over there to my answer. So there is a total of 150 seats. Pause with that. Part B, the auditorium does have enough seats to fit 100 people because if you multiply 30 times five, you'll get 150. So there are 50 extra seats in the auditorium. Question two, Mr. Garcia has five boxes of pencils. The two smaller boxes have 30 pencils in each box. The three larger boxes have 60 pencils in each box. Part A, how many pencils are in the smaller boxes in total? Remember, take this time to pause the video um, and answer in the comments below. So the first thing the question is asking us is how many pencils are in both of the two small pencil boxes? So we know for both the two small pencil boxes, there's 30 pencils per box. So I could count up each one of those pencils, but instead I'm gonna use a little bit faster method and I'm going to multiply two times 30. So two times three is six. And I know that there's one zero in my equation, so I'm gonna bring that zero over to my answer. Mr. Garcia has a total of 60 small pencils. Now, part B, two small boxes, well, we know equals 30 pencils per box, and we already did that equation, two times 30 will give us 60 small pencils. But we also need to figure out how many pencils he has in total, so we need to figure out how many of the large pencils does he have in total. So we know that he has three large boxes and there's 60 pencils per box. So we're gonna use multiplication again and do three times 60. So we know that three times six is 18 and we're gonna do the same thing with our zero. We have one zero in our equation. So we're gonna bring that zero to our answer. So now we know that we have 60 small pencils in total and 180 large pencils in total. So the next step to our problem is adding all those pencils up together to get our total amount of pencils. All right, so I have 180 plus 60. Zero plus zero is zero. Eight plus six is 14. And one plus one gives me two. Mr. Garcia has a total of 240 pencils. 